This is Professor Darif Seitz, OJIVE chart. This video shows how to create an OJIVE chart using Microsoft Excel. An OJIVE chart displays the cumulative frequency for a frequency table. A frequency table takes data, breaks it into classes of equal sizes and delineates those classes by lower and upper boundaries and lower and upper limits. And for each class, a frequency of the data that occurs there and also can calculate the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is like a snowball effect. As you're rolling the snowball, it gets bigger and bigger, accumulates more and more snow until at the end, it equals the total number of items that are being accumulated. Here in this data, which you click on the chart, you see the data behind it is these ordered pairs here. And one of the columns is cumulative frequency. Notice that the first ordered pair is a little different. We'll skip that for a minute. The cumulative frequency starts for the first class here. The accumulation would be from four, 14 for the first class, and then it accumulates and gets larger and larger until it meets the number of data items that were in this data set, which was 60. In this first column, the X coordinate of each ordered pair, except for the first one, is the upper boundary of the class. Upper boundaries are one half above or one half below the class limits, the lower limit and the upper limit. This first ordered pair is a little different. It gives you this point here on the horizontal axis its first coordinate is the lower boundary, not the upper boundary, of the first class when the not, there's no data yet at that point, the lower boundary, and zero for its cumulative frequency. That's how this point here is obtained. The other points come from these ordered pairs. Altogether, there's seven ordered pairs. <clears throat> first one, as I said, starts it off and then six more. And to create this chart, you enter your data, which is shown in blue, something you have to enter. You should get that from your frequency table. <clears throat> and frequency tables are also used to create histograms, frequency histograms or relative frequency histograms. And this ogive is very closely related to a frequency table as well, as well. Select your ordered pairs and then insert under charts. It'll be a line chart. That's what this little thing said, a line chart. And go all the way down to more line charts and this one right over here is the one I picked. I'm gonna insert it again so it's already been inserted and as I said after I inserted it I went to the styles and picked a variant of that that showed the points on the line also I chose certain settings to show the values above the points the y values the the cumulative frequency and it's recorded over here in a comment that the chart type was a line chart. These, like all graphs in Microsoft Excel, this chart is dynamic. If I take, say, the 35 here and change it to 10 and hit Enter, you see a big change in the slopes here between these points because of that change. Control Z to go back to what it was. So that's a nice feature.